just bring it just like what the rock says and that means bringing molten lava cake this one's a hard cake to make if you don't know the science behind it. So you need to know your oven in terms of how long you're gonna cook it for. Uh, will it come out of the ramekin? We don't know, it's all of a challenge, but once it's out and it's so good to eat because you're gonna have ice cream with it or you can have whipping cream with it. This is not healthy, there's nothing healthy about it. It's all about the sugar, it's all about the butter, it's all about the chocolate. I love, love cake. And if you do like this recipe, subscribe below because I'll have more recipes coming your way. Most of it will be healthy, but once in a while it's okay to indulge. First thing, we're just gonna get a chocolate. This is six ounces of chocolate. We're gonna cut it up and put in the double boiler. Chop it up nicely. You can use uh, dark chocolate as well. The more, more darker the chocolate is, the bitter it will be, so you can add a little bit more sugar to it. I do like dark chocolate. I feel like as older I'm getting, I don't like the milk chocolate as much anymore. I started going for more of the dark chocolate flavors and uh, one of the things I absolutely love is Mexican hot chocolate because they add cinnamon to it, it's so good. If you ever have a chance to have it, definitely try it. I don't think a lot of places have it, but you can find it. So we're just gonna add all that goodness inside the boiler. We're gonna mix it all up, let it melt. Okay, let, let it do its thing as it starts melting. While that's happening, we're just gonna butter our ramekins. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of flour to it so the cake does not stick to it. Just go all the way around. We're gonna take care of all the excess uh, flour as well. We don't want it too chalky of a cake. Just make sure it's all the way around. There you go. Beautiful, just shake off the extra. There you go. Let's do the other one. Okay, I'm just gonna move this to the side. Our chocolate is looking good. Let's start whisking our eggs. Oh, so we got one in. Woo! Two. Let's do it this way. Perfect. Three. Put that in. Perfect. No shells. <laughs> Thank God. All right. We're gonna mix it. We're gonna put on medium. I just need to get a paper towel because I made a mess. And we're gonna add our sugar in as this starts to whisk together. Beautiful color, slowly in. One third cup, actually this is a half a cup of sugar. Okay, let that mix for a bit. While that's happening, let's get our chocolate out. Look how beautiful that is. We're gonna add our butter, six ounces of butter. Go. We're gonna melt that with the chocolate. If you need to, you could put it back on the boiler to melt the chocolate. And a little secret element for me is adding a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of espresso. Mix that all up. Egg is looking good. I'm gonna put that down a little bit. Let that mix. Mix this all up. And you don't want to put the, we're going to put the chocolate into the egg mix, but you want to make sure the chocolate is cooled down because you may end up getting scrambled eggs if the chocolate is too hot when you add it to the egg mix. All right, we're going to add the chocolate to the egg mix, nice and fluffy. I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. Okay, let's add this in slowly. The chocolate is incorporated with the eggs. It's not deflated, it's nice and fluffy. Now we're just gonna add the flour to it to give it texture when we make the actual cake. This is one third cup of flour. We're just gonna shake that in. Just gonna mix all that up. And then in a few minutes, we are going to have molten lava cake. Just fold it in gently, there you go. I don't know if you can see that, look how beautiful that is. When I make cake with my kids, it's uh, eggless, so we always eat the <laughs> we eat the batter, and so the cake becomes half usually. Okay, there you go. We're looking good. We're just gonna transfer this over. I'll move that over so you can see. Just gonna pour it in. There you go. 
it even. Done. And we're gonna put it in the oven, praying for some lava. There you go. We're gonna leave it in for eight minutes. Oh, we're gonna put it in the oven at 350. Let's see how this goes. The cakes have been sitting for about five minutes. We're gonna now try to turn it over onto a plate. Okay, let's try this. Bring this together. And we're gonna flip it. Let's see if we can flip it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Like that. <laughs> let's see, this is the moment. Okay, okay, it came out, that's good. Yay! The little bit of whiteness is from the flour, but it's, it's, it's beautiful, it looks good. I think it looks good, what do you think? Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of berries to make it look nice and pretty. A little bit of mint, maybe? I do like berries with it. You can use ice cream or... A little bit more. That's the way to do it, there you go. That looks pretty nice. Now the test. Let's see if there's molten inside. I see you grab a fork. Okay, here we go. Ah, is there molten inside? Is there molten inside? Oh, we did good, we did good. There's the molten inside. Oh, how good is that? Yay, it worked. But that's your molten lava cake. I'm gonna try a little bit of it. Put a little bit of, there you go. Mm. That espresso, a little bit of espresso we put in, the cinnamon brings it all together. The flavor is beautiful. We got the molten, we win. Now that's how you make a molten lava cake. Give it a try. Thank you.